Hi there and welcome to Wine Searcher. Today we're doing a tasting of 2014 Claret, so I thought I'd share that with you. Um, from Pomerol, I've got a bit of a treat here, that's uh, Chateau Le Fleur Petrus. Uh, Petrus, a well-known name, um, not surprisingly um, a near neighbour of Petrus. Uh, La Fleur Petrus is also a neighbour of Chateau Le Fleur, unsurprisingly, um, and it sits pretty much right in the heart of Pomerol, um, on the, the edge of the Montagne de Pomerol. Um, the soils here, many of them are similar to um, those of Petrus, sort of quite heavy clay, but there are also some areas of gravel um, which um, allow both Cabernet Franc and a little bit of Petit Verdot to, to, to grow as well. Um, so a slightly different style. This is run by um, the Moex family, um, branch of the family also and Chateau Petrus. Um, they are um, very high quality negociant in the area, but this is their own property that they manage. Um, so this is a Merlot dominated wine. It's about, I think, 91% of Merlot in the 2014 with 6% of Cabernet Franc and the, the balance as Petit Verdot. Uh, looking at it in the glass, it's got a lovely dark color. I mean, ruby red, there's, there's no purple left. The wine's got a bit of maturity. Um, the aromas, the aromas have got a real earthiness, which is, you know, quite classic for um, uh, Pomerol, but there's also the dark, black, plummy fruit there, maybe sort of dams and bullis sort of notes. Um, tasting it. This wine has the most beautiful texture. There's a slightly velvety, but also slightly sort of chocolatey with coffee notes flavours there. As I say, sort of predominantly dark plum, maybe a bit of dark cherry in there, that sort of rich, high ripeness sort of note. A little bit of warmth from the alcohol. Tannin's very, very smooth, very supple, as I say, velvety textured. The flavours last nicely because the lovely fresh acidity comes through. Um, this is a wine at 2014, it was a good vintage. Um, this is probably starting to drink now. Um, at the beginning of its drinking cycle. You can probably have to drink this for the next 10 years completely. It's got such a lovely density and richness. Um, so yes, Chateau Le Fleur Petrus. <laughs>